हेलो एंड वेलकम टू येट एन अदर वीडियो ऑन युअर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज प्रवीण सर्स प्रेप विन आई सी एस सी टूडेज वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स इन मैथ्स वी हैव अ रिवाइज सिलेबस फॉर एग्जामिनेशन टू बी कंडक्टेड in the year 2023 so many students as well as teachers have a confusion about this reduce syllabus so this video is to remove all the confusions from your mind so what are we waiting for let's go we all know that for mathematics cisce or council have prescribed some textbooks for us they are selina concise rs agarwal and frank let me know in the comment box which textbook do you use for today's video i am going to use rs agarwal This textbook is the most popular textbook among the teachers and the students even if you are using RS Agarwal from the older version no problem some page numbers may differ here and there that's it everything else is same if you take a look at the contents of the RS Agarwal textbook you will see that your maths textbook is divided into 7 units and 27 chapters that is a huge syllabus so let us start with unit number 1 that is commercial mathematics commercial mathematics chapter number 1 that is goods and services tax gst from this chapter interstate transactions and igst part is totally omitted page number 12 exercise 1 from this exercise 1 sum number 1 and sum number 3 igst part you need not find that sum number 4 is completely omitted and moving on to page number 13 all the sums from this page are included in the syllabus on page number 14 you will see that sum number 13 17 18 and 20 these sums are omitted and entire of page number 15 is omitted no sum from page number 15 is included in your syllabus coming on to chapter number 2 banking the entire chapter is included in your syllabus no reduction in this chapter anyway this chapter is also very easy there is only one formula in this chapter and all the sums are related to this formula moving on to chapter number 3 that is shares and dividend a difficult chapter this chapter is out of your syllabus now so that is a reason for us to enjoy moving on to next unit that is algebra chapter number 4 linear in equations no reduction entire chapter is retained in your syllabus same is the condition with the next two chapters that is chapter number 5 quadratic equations and chapter number 6 word problems from quadratic equations from both of this chapters there is no reduction next chapter chapter number 7 ratio and proportion you can see on your screen that is simple application based problem from this chapter is omitted that means that from exercise 7a no sum will be included in the syllabus this exercise 7a is completely omitted and then exercise 7b and 7c both the exercises are totally included in your syllabus have a look exercise 7a from page number 73 74 and 75 this entire exercise is omitted then exercise 7b 
on page number 83, 84 and 85 this entire exercise is included also exercise 7c from page number 92 and 93 is included moving on to next two chapters that is chapter number 8 remainder and factor theorem and chapter number 9 that is matrices both the chapters are totally included in your syllabus moving on to chapter number 10 which is arithmetic progression or ap here also simple application based questions are omitted that means you have to do first exercise that is exercise 10a completely page number 134 and 135 exercise 10b sum number 1 to sum number 15 all the sums are included but sum number 16 to sum number 20 these sums the application based sums from the arithmetic progression are omitted please note this next chapter from this unit algebra chapter number 12 geometric progression the entire chapter is deleted or omitted from your syllabus as per revised syllabus for your examination 2023 next unit is coordinate geometry chapter number 12 reflection is completely retained or included in the syllabus same way chapter number 13 section and midpoint formulae is also completely included in the syllabus same story is with chapter number 14 equation of a straight line this chapter is also completely included in the syllabus so no reduction in these three chapters from the unit coordinate geometry according to your rs agarwal textbook next unit unit number three is geometry the reduction and deduction from this unit is very complicated so you need to pay a careful attention extra attention to whatever i am going to say next from unit 3 similarity is divided into two parts chapter number 15 similarity as a size transformation chapter number 16 similarity of triangles here chapter 15 is completely omitted from your syllabus and chapter number 16 from this chapter only area theorem is deleted that means you have to do exercise 16a completely but 16b is partially omitted that means some part of exercise 16b will be included and some part is deleted coming to page number 196 197 and 198 on these three pages exercise 16a is included in your syllabus on page number 198 and page number 199 you can see that area theorems for similar triangles theorem number 3 and theorem number 4 both are deleted come to page number 211 212 and 213 this part is complicated so please pay attention you will see that over here some questions are entirely deleted and some questions are entirely included but if you look add sum number one there are four subparts to this question subpart number one and two is included and subpart number three and four is deleted so go through these pages carefully so that you understand which part is included and which part is omitted coming to page number 214 chapter number 17 locus or loci this entire chapter is completely deleted from your syllabus next topic of unit geometry is circle you see that this circle is divided into two chapters both the chapters are completely included in the syllabus 
I repeat once again, both the chapters of the circles are completely included in the syllabus, including all the numericals as well as proofs including all the numericals and also proofs yes proofs of these two chapters are also included only the proofs of the theorem are deleted coming to chapter number 18 which is angle and cyclic properties of a circle you see that Theorem number one is there in your syllabus, but only proof of this theorem is deleted. In same manner, page number 226, 227, 228 and page number 229. Theorem number two, theorem number three, theorem number four, theorem number five and theorem number six. All six theorems are there in your syllabus. But proofs are not included. Exercise 18 which is on page number 242, 243, 244, 245 and 246. All the numericals as well as proofs are included in the syllabus. Next part of circles which is tangent properties of circles. Here also you have all the theorems, only omitted part is the proof of these theorems. Exercise 19a includes 30 questions on page number 255, 256, 257 and 258. This entire exercise 19a is included in the syllabus. Also 16 questions including proofs on page number 267, 268 and 269 are included. Next chapter of unit geometry is chapter number 20, construction. Here exercise 20A is partially included as well as exercise 20B is completely included. Why exercise 20A is partially included? That is because here in R.S. Agarwal, a question related to drawing a tangent is given. And these questions are related to draw a tangent from a point on the circle and drawing two tangents from a point outside the circle. Drawing tangent from a point on the circle is not included in the syllabus but drawing two tangents from the external point to the circle are included page number 271 exercise 20a question number 2 and 3 and question number 6 and 7 these four questions are not included. Page number 274 and 275 exercise 20b is completely included. Next unit is unit 4 mensuration. The most important unit. Please remember that mark distribution is as per unit and not lesson wise or chapter wise. This is a unit which is a single chapter unit. So this chapter, chapter number 21, volume and surface area of solids, which include cylinder, cone and sphere. This chapter is very important and the entire chapter is included. Next unit is unit number 5, trigonometry. This trigonometry is divided into two chapters. Chapter number 22, Trigonometric Identities. This entire chapter is included, no reduction. Now have a look on page number 314, Exercise 22C. This exercise is not included, neither it was included for previous years. This exercise is always there in the textbook but never included. Moving on to next chapter, chapter number 23, Heights and Distances. As I told you, this chapter is also related to trigonometry. But here are the application based questions or the word problems from the 
trigonometry which includes the use of the trigonometric table and trigonometric identities coming on to unit 6 statistics chapter number 24 graphical representation of statistical data there is no reduction the entire chapter is included chapter number 25 is measure of central tendency that is you have to find out mean only those questions are included in the syllabus which have continuous data non-continuous data or discrete data or so-called raw data is not included in the syllabus so have the look at these pages these questions which has a raw data or non-continuous or discrete data is not included most of the questions from exercise 25 are deleted if you see page number 345 and 346 from exercise 25 all the questions from these pages are deleted now coming on to page number 347 only question number 18 to question number 26 are included chapter 26 median quartiles and mode these are needed to find out through graphs of histogram and ogive questions from chapter 26 which are related to graph or for that matter which are related to histogram and ogive are only included in your syllabus rest all are omitted or deleted and page number 367 368 and 369 which includes exercise 26b is completely included from the last exercise of this chapter that is exercise 26c all the questions from sum number 1 to sum number 6 are deleted you have only question number 7 to question number 12 which is on page number 373 please mark all the questions carefully which are there in your syllabus and which are not there in your syllabus now moving on to last chapter that is chapter number 27 probability an easy chapter probability is completely included and there is no reduction that's all about your math syllabus from rs agarwal textbook if you want me to make a video on any other textbook, please write your comments in the comment box. I will definitely make a video based upon the other textbook. See you all in my next video. Till then, bye.